This just brings back so many memories. I know. When I was a little kid. I'm excited. Except my backyard wasn't this big. I know, right? This is a legendary. How do you guys play with the trees? Hmm? What do you guys do if you hit into the tree? What's the rule? Uh, yeah. Do you, uh, do you guys play if a bush catches it, you're out? No. Oh. I gotta talk. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, wait, it's a mic. No, like, it's picking up your, your, uh, on here. It's pick, it picks it up, you know? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we go on National Anthem yesterday or no? Yeah. yeah. National Anthem at Colesar Park? I love it. Let's do it. What's the flag? Where's the flag? I don't know. Where's the flag? It's right there. Ah. Oh, good boy. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> clap it up, clap it up. Woo! Let's play the ball! You're pitching first. I know I'm pitching first. I'm gonna strike you out. No, you're not. What team am I on? I'm on their team? Because he's horrible at baseball. Who? Him. Barbetti? Yeah. He was pretty good. How old is Barbetti? How old are you? How old do you think I am? I am 12. One. 20-something? 20 I'm a Wow. That's a good one. Good one, Jack. 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 Yeah. Hey, he hit me in the nuts. What? You're still out. No, I'm not. But he hit me in the nuts. But he hit me in the nuts. You got a power hitter up. You don't want him. Uh... Oh. Good hack, though. Oh, Nick, no. Oh, he's in. Good hack, good hack. Be a good teammate. Good hack right. there, Charlotte. Valtic. Charlie. All right, all right, all right. It's me. It's gone. Okay, play three. Take three. Come on, back, Aubrey. Let's go. That's a home run. That's a home run. It's a home run. Two nothing. Where's the camera? Oh, it's way over there. Charlotte, you have camera? Yeah. Switch it up. Wait, that's two outs, right? That's three outs now. Wait, how's that three outs? Uh, you got out. Your first out. Strike out. Charlotte struck out. You popped out. Oh. Ball one. How did that hurt? go. Another one to the neighbors. I sure like hot bell on that. Two strikes on the hitter. Come on, baby. That's twice. You better watch it. Did that even hit you? Huh? Yes. Strike three. It's two. Yeah. Where was the first one? You fouled me. What? That's one. That's one. Da Daddy, was that two strikes? Was that three at strikes? Hey, that's him. He wouldn't lie. He's a good man. Two, two. 
Got gassed up. Where's the mic go? Right here. I just got gassed up from the left side. Just gassed me up. Ooh, <laughs> what are you doing? You're late. Inside corner. Little Mason Colzar. Strike. Are you are you blind? Even your own teammate said it wasn't a strike. I need the mic. You need the mic? All right, here you go, here you go. Loaded, by the way. Now. Hit three guys. Wow. Have to show these kids how it's done. Now the base is loaded or not though? <laughs> oh! <Base is. laughs> I refined the throw is strike. Oh! Watch the pad, watch the pad. That's all camera! That's all camera! I'm gonna need you to pitch the base. Pitcher. Come on! Woohoo! That's all day, Mace. That's all day. This, it's still zero to hit. Okay, I'm gonna strike you out. You're out. You're off the base. I'm on the base. You're off the base. Oh. You've been trying to make excuses all day. Strike. Oh. Ow. Foot, foot. Hey. Ow. <laughs> you okay? Ow. <laughs> you okay? It hurts so bad. <laughs> Good news is we got all. <laughs> You're out. One out, two, two, two outs. Out. Okay. Two one, two, one game. Macy, okay? Yeah. Hey, part of the game. All the big boys or what? Oh, where did you that go? That hit, that hit you here. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. We gotta go lefty. Ow. <laughs> I feel like, you guys are like the uh, softball oh players hitting back up the middle. I'm trying to dip and rip. And everybody hits it. Switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> two, two games? I was trying to dip and rip. Yeah, you didn't do it. <laughs> You're pitching. <laughs> oh! Almost uh, killed Mace here, but we're good. Big game here at Colzar Park. 2-1 ball game. Hey, me and you, me and you, me and you. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, good, good cut. Taylor Swift, close our park. What gets better than this, hey? Oh! Out. Sorry, buddy. Can you step on the base? Great hustle. Yeah, I mean. What? Could have said, I could have said on the base, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh! T oh, what was that swing? <laughs> what are you swinging at, buddy? Oh, there goes the mic again. <laughs> no, get back! Oh. Who we got? Right oh! It goes the other way. <laughs> hey, you guys have a ball. Hey, right, right. That's on Charlie, me. Charlie, you're up. Tell me. You replace Charlotte the third. No big Force at home. Right in front of you. Nice. Way to hold them on. We held them on well. That's how you hold on a runner. Two, one, bottom two. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, go three, why not? Say that, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
It's a single. All right. Game is tied. We're going to win all day. We're all about winning. Come on, baby. Woo! Wow, you're, you're, Mason's a better pitcher than you, dude. <laughs> you're just getting lit up like a Christmas tree right now. Come on. I think you've been Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, drop. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. You like Taylor Swift? What's the song called? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Yes, he did on the Oh, why you gotta be so mean? Why you gotta be so mean? Got you! <laughs> go back, go back, go back! Why you gotta be Hey, I'm trying to bad here! Come on! Good pull! Oh, oh alright, alright. Hmm. Anyway, it wasn't camped underneath. Uh, <laughs> it was? Uh, Did I? Oh. Come on. Come on. This insurance run is brought to you by Colzar Insurance. We got your suits. They're... Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm scoring. I'm scoring, baby. Yeah. Getting lit up like Christmas tree there, Coach Mike. It's a foul ball, it's a foul. Foul ball. Foul! Darn! It just picked the... <laughs> just leaving everything up there, eh? That's three. That's three outs? Yeah. I yeah, we need we need we need a zero spot. Seven to two. One dead, one dead. We got one out. One out, Cameron. Charlotte's web. Oh! Uh, come back here, ball. Come on. <laughs> Yo. Okay. That's foul. <laughs> oh. One, 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 one. Gotta go. Oh! <laughs> You're out. <laughs> 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 oh! Good, good, give it back. Beat it. Oh, oh, oh. That was good.
Cold as our park, there are no rules. In here, great game. Come on! Ah! Good relay, good relay, watch it, watch it, watch it! Come on! Come on! Got him! Let's go! Ah! Come on! Come on! <laughs> no, it's a home run. High game. <laughs> Woo! High five. No? Okay, fine. High five? Yeah, all right, Charlotte's Web. Colzars are being not mean to me today. Oh. <laughs> Back in. There we go. What did I do to you? Ah! It's a foul ball, foul ball. Two, two, what do you do? That's all day, baby! Oh! Good moves! Oh, we're scoring! We're scoring! Oh, I'm gonna cook it! Get him! Oh, come on! We're scoring! We're scoring, baby! We're scoring! We're scoring! Woo! Up two! Stay two, stay two! Nine, seven. Fine, nine, eight. Ooh. Hey, I felt the breeze on that one. Relax there. We go, up two. You what? You hit you hit me. But you what? It was a it was a check. Aubrey, did I go? Yes or no? You did? Alright, fine. Fine. D out. This is an easy out. <laughs> Good hustle. He, uh, he went into territory. We get him. <laughs> oh! Oh! Double them off! Watch three! Watch three! Oh, oh! They're running all over you. They're running all over you. I got. Go! 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 All right. One out. One down. One down. <laughs> One dead here, one dead. Charlotte's Webb, go to third. It's only ground balls. Easy out. Easy out. Strike one. Just kidding. All right, base is used. Power hitters up. Oh! oh. Watch three, we're good. All right, nine, nine. Nine, nine. No, Charlotte's up. Force at any base. Force at any base. Get a, we need a double play here. Big double play. Oh! Yeah, three. <laughs> Got him. Woo! Another round score is 10 9. Woo. Sing it. Come on. He's no hitter, he's no batter, he's no batter. Oh, Good hack. On, on. How's it going? John Gribben on Tame Baseball. Good to see everybody. Cam, what do you got to say to Cam? Get it, Cam? She said hello before. She said, yeah. I just literally showed up and got bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, so convenient. We, we just got the third out here. As soon as I walked in, I just got bit by something. Oh, you maybe you deserved it. <laughs> Three outs. You want the ball? No, I'm just kidding. It's metal. That's illegal. You're illegal. Illegal is a sick bird. All right? Yeah, we're, it's like 17 7. Us. No. We're winning. 10 8. 10 8.
Yeah, pitch it next time. Two get two get two. Oh, let's go, Chip. Let's let's run it. Let's run it. Aubrey, look over there. Four, baby, cover four. Okay, good, good, yeah. Yeah, none, none of that. No, Two duckies on the pond. Hey, should we check the, what do you, whoa, 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 whoa. We got some toast. We got some toast on the uh, bases. Let's get some butter in. Come on, baby. Let's go. Tied up ball game. Woo. We want a pitcher. We want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. Three, uh, hey, why don't you mix in a strike here, Mace, hey? Oh, oh, right. Let's go. Go first and third. Go first and third. Come on. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> Good hustle. Good Come on. Don't give me that. Let's go, baby. Tied up. We take the lead. Come on. All day. All day. 11 to 10. I'm going to make it 13 to 10 with this homer right now. No, you're not gonna strike. You're not gonna strike me out. Yes, I am. No, you're not. 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 Come on, come on, let's go, baby, let's go. Got Oh, you just, you just, you just want to be nice to them and give them games and points? No, you kick them to the ground and they will. You make them lose all the time. That's how you make them better. Hey? We're waiting for you to get on. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Woo! 13 10. 13 10, second and third. Good song here. Good song. Hey. Where you been? I can show you incredible things. You're about to go down, big guy. 13 10, that's all we need. Up, This is going to be a great thing to watch. Lock in. You see the details. <laughs> I want to make all my boys proud here. Poison Ivy, but great game. What do you have to say? Uh, you know, I just wish I didn't wear jeans. I think uh, uh, I think we got gypped, and uh, I will be protesting this game. Uh, I just think they had illegal players. I mean, you know, Gribby comes in while we were in the fifth inning. And Gribby comes out of nowhere and starts playing. What is that about? I even see him over there. What's up, brother? Good to see you, brother. To the cane. What's up, brother? What's what stadium we're at? What stadium we're at? Whoa, 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 it's for the kids. That name is for the kids. I don't know what ballpark we're at, but we're, uh, we're, at, we're at Somerset Patriots. Oh my god, I'm chief. I haven't seen you since high school, bro. <laughs> Oh, what do you got? What'd you guys get? Chicken fingers, fries, and a bun. Yeah, hot dog. We have to stuck here for like Dude. ten minutes. I don't know what we want to eat. <laughs> I might go like, like one and done today. Like go get a bunch of things, sample Whoa. all out. All right, all right. Drop like a hundred dollars. I gotta get the cinnamon pretzel bites. Uh, I'm getting a cheesesteak. Uh, what else did I want? Chicken tenders and fries. Like just ball out real quick and get all that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you want? Do you, what do you? What do you feel? I got the leftovers, but I'll maybe probably, a hot dog. What? Nah, I don't want I'm to I'm debating. I don't know. Mini empanadas. It's like I'm gonna be dropping like a hundred dollars. Mini empanadas or cheese? You get it? <laughs> Mike up. <laughs> no. Mike Yo has the hot dog first. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. <laughs> You know, when you hear 
It's a bread hot dog. It's never different. Nothing's ever different. It's always you bite into a hot dog and it tastes like a some bread hot dog. Nothing ever changes, and I love that about them. Consistency. That's a some bread hot dog. I got these pretzel bites. But I'm doing, I'm, I'm getting dirt down and dirty first and having this ice cream. All right, so I'd have to say, great ice cream. Sprinkles, they gave me every option. Vanilla, chocolate twist, rainbow sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles. Doesn't get much better than this. Center field. There's gotta be sugar on these fries. Because they're very sweet. They're sweet and salty, which is never that bad. Good mixture. Light, light, light on the sugar, but they're good. Chicken tenders didn't burn my mouth. That's always a good sign. Usually they're, they're red hot, right out of the oven. But, um, good. Very good. I'd get it again. You don't dip your french fry in the ice cream. What are you doing? Wow. Brian's got some uh, funnel cake ice cream and fry. Uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Ecuador be proud of I this. I didn't know we were giving out numbers. Uh, I mean, that's what, you, that's what the people do nowadays. Now, it's great though. I mean, I'm ready to play. Great presentation right here with the, that, the batting oh, wow, element. Beautiful. Just give a look. Do you judge a book by its cover? Uh, no, I like to read in, into the middle of it. Okay. What do we got here though? Pretzel bites? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon? I'm allergic to cinnamon. I just remembered that after I ate that. Oh, God. oh boy. We're gonna have a good night. Um, not bad, your typical pretzel, but you know, the cinnamon, I I think it makes it better. I love cinnamon pretzels. Gives it that little oomph, you know? Alright. We got the cheesesteak. Not very cheesy. Sometimes you gotta go find the cheese. Oh, there it is. Alright, here we go. Could have used a little hot sauce on this, but. Not the best cheese uh, not the best cheesesteak I've ever had, but it's not bad. You know. I mean, I need a little more liquid cheese here. You know, it's, it just feels like it's a little too dry. I need it to be sloppy moist, if that makes sense. Oh, you gotta get Sparky. Sparky! Chin, the chin high belt. So we're checking back in. After the first bite, you know, it wasn't that good, but the more you get into it, the better it got. Like I said, you gotta go find the cheese. I found the cheese, it's good. It got better. Oh my, sloppy. Nothing wrong with sloppy. Mm. Mac and cheese bites. Mm. I bit into it, and the cheese just Sipper through my mouth. It was really good. You gotta try one. I know you don't have you know how to zoom, but this is this is amazing. Yeah, it's good. Come on. All your zone sports baseball buddies. Go fly around out there. Selfish when the uh, teacher's leading the singing, right? Like, come on. Is this supposed to be about the kids? She's <laughs> going for the whole thing. What? Oh, 
different. Uh, Play ball. <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine? Bottom of the first, we finally found what's the name of this park. It's TD Bank Park. It's, I know, but why are you calling asking why I'm so happy? Shouldn't you be happy for me? Patriots game. What we got to say? Um, happy to be here. All right, Johnny, you have just won a free helmet. No, what? He didn't win the helmet. He uh, has to wear the helmet and look like an idiot. Uh, yeah. All right, relax. Don't move. Don't move. All right, don't move. You're fine. Relax. All right, don't move. All right. Uh, we're here with Johnny from Untamed. It's Untamed night here at uh, TD Bank Park. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Iron Nine showing up? It's the Iron Nine. Exactly. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. Sparky! Sparky, been looking all over for you, buddy. Hi. Mason, <laughs> you look great. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They're family, and I haven't seen them from Ecuador. And no hablo inglés. ¿Cómo estás? There you go. Go. Let's go. Sparky. Sparky. Congrats, Sparky. Congrats, Sparky. Congrats on the two years. <laughs> <laughs> we got Ray Order here, Michael Howland from Walk Off Talks, and we just want to ask you a question. Yankee trivia, do you know oh, your Yankees? I think so. What were the original New York Yankees originally named? Now you got four options here. The Highlanders. The Americans. Kind of racist. The Giants. <laughs> what? And the Oreos. Make sure you pay attention to her, alright? Highlanders. I'm going with Highlanders. Uh, I want to say Giants. The Giants? He, he Islanders. said Islanders, Islanders. but he, I think it's uh, for the Giants, and we're going to go for the Highlanders. Uh, oh my gosh, it's the, wow, it, what? It was the Orioles. The 1901 what? club what? Began, began playing in the Baltimore Orioles. No, no relation to the Baltimore Orioles. The team was played later, purchased, moved to New York City, renamed the New York Highlanders. What? Then, I was close. Okay. They were officially named the Yankees in 1913. Who we got? Double camera in it, baby. Do you know your Yankees here? Okay, gosh. Which Yankee? I know my Yankees. Which Yankee was the first MLB rookie to win the home run derby? Glaber Torres. Aaron Judge. Alex Rodriguez. Hideki Matsui. Hideki Matsui. Oh, you're wrong, wrong. It was, it was Aaron Judge. I knew it. It's even no. told you. Woo! Aaron Judge won his rookie year? No way. Hey, you want to no. buy a 50-50? 50-50 here. Yeah. Get your fit. Right. <laughs> anyway, where did the team play after they moved to New York? Was it Hilltop Park, Star Park, the Polo Grounds, or Tinker Park? Hilltop Park. Hilltop Park? <laughs> Correct! Here we go! There we go. we go. That was a good job. The ballpark's from on the... Nah, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Who did the Yankees face in the first World Series? Cardinals. Cardinals. Senators. Giants. And the Pirates. When I go with Pirates, I feel like Dell over there is just in the zone. Call a friend? Yeah. Call, uh, he has no idea. Senators. Cardinals. Cardinals Giants. Giants. And Pirates. Are you cheating over my... Probably Giants, yeah. Correct! Yeah. Yes, sir. Which Yankee pitched the one and only perfect game in a World Series history? Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like yeah, that. Andy, Andy Pettit, David Cohn, Roger Clemens, or Don Larson. I don't know who that guy is. Hey, look at the phone of friend here. Don Larson. Yeah. Don Larson. Uh, Come on. Correct. Yes, sir. There you go. All right. All right. Who called his shot in the 1932 World Series? Lou Gehrig. Tony Laziri, I mean, am I saying that right? Babe Ruth or Earl Combs? I don't even know these names. Babe Ruth? Yeah. Babe Ruth? <laughs> Correct! Yeah. Come on, it's a soul on a, a, soul on a swat. I love walk-off songs. What was Mariano Rivera's signature pitch? Oh, I even know this one. What is it? 
Do you even know what's going on? Cutter, splitter, uh -huh. knuckleball, curveball. Cutter. Cutter. Nice. Yeah. I see me more. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right. Against what opposing team did Babe Ruth hit his first career home run? Oh. You got this one. Baltimore Black Sox, the New York Yankees, the Chicago Cubs, or the Boston Red Sox? The Boston Red Sox. What? Did he hit Guys, four? what? Wait, wait, wait. Did Whoa. Is it for or against? His first career it was home Baltimore. run. It was Baltimore. So, oh. It was for, it was on Baltimore. So he gets Baltimore. Ah. Is that right? No. Oh, incorrect. We got, we got. Not the Cubs. Uh, not the Cubs. Red Sox. No, it's not, guys. He was on the no. Red Sox first. It's the Yankees. Yankees. Oh, we hit it again. Boom! All right, who is the Yankees' all time career leader in hits? James. What? James Library. Mickey Mantle, Derek Jeter, Lou Gehrig, or Babe Ruth. You're not even close. No, 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 no. Trying to say I suck? What? Trying to say I suck? No, no, not even close. What are you trying to say? I'm sorry, I suck, though. Oh, oh. I said James Library. Yeah. He said James something. <laughs> I don't even know who that guy is. This is a joke. That's a Scooby? This is a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> you on camera, bro. Right, yeah. PPG. Not that. <laughs> All right, last one of the day. Oh, he just got he thrown out a second. He just got gunned. Chick, chick, pal. It sucks there's no replays. Last one of the, last right. one of the day. What one? was the original Yankee Stadium nickname? The house that Joe built. The house that Lou built. The house that Lo, uh, Yogi built. The house that Ruth built. The last one. Correct. Take one, take one, take one. What is up, everybody? My name is Delon Barbetti with Walk Off Talks. We got a special guest today, Michael Halloran, and today we're gonna talk about the importance of school. Um, so, Mike, um, I guess the first question is like, how were your grades in high school? So I'd say that my grades were like a C to B minus average. But um, it really was freshman year of high school. I really didn't do well in school until I actually had my uh, freshman baseball coach come up to me and basically sit me down and tell me how important school was. And all I cared about was baseball. And he told me that you're not going to be able to play baseball unless you get your grades up. So that kind of pushed me, motivated me to do better in school because if I couldn't play baseball, then it, it was just nothing. I didn't want to do anything else. Yeah. So I realized I had to put the work in the classroom just as much as I did on the field. Yeah. And it's just crazy how um, grades matter. Can you just go off how, like, you know, was school easy for you or, or did you have to work for it? Like, walk us through through that, like, like your experience, high school, maybe even middle school, high school, and, and college. Well, I'll be honest, like, growing up, I really – did not put a lot of effort towards school like since growing up because always I was a big sports person and after school was done I always wanted to play sports or do something like that like did not want to do homework last <laughs> thing on my mind was homework yeah. so I would literally go home after school every day and either pick up a ball and do that and like that's great I was being active but I also was pushing school to the side and then you know I got to high school and reality kind of kicked in and I had to start putting in an effort towards high school. So I tried to create like a, a routine or something, trying to get in a system and that didn't work. Cause I was still only ge not giving everything I could. Like I was putting it all on the field and not in this classroom. So like I, when I realized that I could just do the minimum in high school and kind of just get away with it. Like even that wasn't good enough. Like when I was, when I went to go pick a college, my guidance counselor, I had all these schools. I had this big list and she took three sheets of schools away and basically said, you only have this many schools that you can pick from because of your GPA. And that, that like broke my heart. I was like, wow, I, I wish I tried harder freshman year and not wait till last minute to now. It's like, oh, I only have this many schools. Like this stinks. Like I don't have a wide range of like uh, to pick from. Co I got to college brookdale it it was a real reality check because that was the first time i ever failed a class wow and that's when i was like it was like wow okay so like i'm not invincible like baseball can be taken away yeah so like i had to like really like take a step back and yeah. like look it all over and be like all right what what is 
more important. But so what are, what what's like your probably your best habit that you've learned, whether high school, college, um, and when you wherever you work, like what is like what helped you got get over that hump where like wow I just failed the class I better get it together wow my GPA is not that good I need to get it up so I can get to a four year school play ball and have academics so what like what what could you tell little Mike yo back in fifth sixth grade hey hey buddy do this and then and then it's gonna set them up for just success in the classroom let's say just like study more I could have been more organized probably they gave us those little planners remember <laughs> yeah I never used them never used. I got to college I started using a planner and I had to buy my own my dad also told me he gave me a little tip one time. He said, if you take notes in class, he goes, go home and rewrite them and go <laughs> over your notes. So you're, you learn it twice. Yeah. And I would also say when it came to college, a big help is you gave me this tip was sitting in front of the class. Yeah. In front of the class and not sitting in the back because you pay attention more and you're less distracted. Shout, shout out to uh, coach Gorman. Cumberland County Dukes made everyone sit in the first uh, two rows of the classroom. And I honestly, I took that to every school I went to except uh, chemistry too. <laughs> but you just got to be honest with yourself. Are you, are you in school to hang out with your friends and, and be the cool kid on the block? Or are you in school to play some high school varsity baseball and in potentially some college baseball? Yeah. Uh, I would also say like, like what we preach at our practices and everything, it's like you're here for only – two hours like stay locked in i wish someone told me that about school yeah someone said you're only here in class for back when we were there what 30 minute classes 40 minutes up to senior year it was like 45 minute periods and then we went to that block but even then it's like 80, 80 minute periods yeah exactly like all you have to do is just lock it in for that much time and then you can you know just lock it in absorb everything that they're, they're teaching you and, and just, yeah and I, and I and I and I love teachers, but they're not they're not teaching the the minute you get into the minute you get out. Exactly. Get in, get in, get your good seat, get, hydrate, get a little snack, and then and then stay. Try to be locked in and try to stay. I love that. Try to stay focused as much as you can. Because like, if you don't, and then you miss something, that, that could be the between a B and an A, or like passing or failing. Yeah. It's like you if you like slack off just a little bit. You could you could miss out on an opportunity. Yeah. So you said when did that planner type of um, habit come in? Was it early JUCO, late after JUCO? Um, when when did your habit kind of switch into into the better of, of of yourself as a student athlete? I would say after my freshman year of college at Brookdale. Yeah. Because after I got that full year under my belt, it was kind of like this is what college is. And it's like, I, I can't keep doing the same habits I did in high school because it's just not, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. Like I wasn't, I would have failed out. Yeah. So I had to change something. And then I want to say I transferred after my sophomore, first semester of my sophomore year, I transferred from Brookdale to OCC. And they told me when I was going in that my GPA would switch to zero. So I got like a fresh start. Yeah. And that was like, all right, well, this is your second chance. Yes. Yeah. This is your second chance. You either, it's either make it or break it. It's like you can either make change, like make like change it up, you know, yeah. try and get the good grades. Like it's like a fresh start. Yeah. And I, I like attacked that. I was trying to hand in everything in time. I was, I was trying to keep my GPA up above a three. Yeah. I was trying to gra like graduate from OCC on time. Yeah. And it all worked out. And then I went to Lock Haven and I brought – those habits with me because again it was another fresh start yeah was like, right, maybe we can do even better this time yeah it was like it was like almost like a, a push like yeah no doubt like, do it like you got the fresh start and then you get another one it was like all right let's do even better oh, like, that's, yeah. once, when you go from a, a student that never really did well and you you see yourself get like an a for you to and c's you're like this is so cool <laughs> I didn't know I had this, degree. and then you realize how like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, this stuff, this stuff was this easy the whole time. This is all I had to do. It's like, dude, I just wish 
someone showed me that at a younger age instead of like you know thinking like school's not that important you know yeah success, like, oh, like, success is awesome exactly yeah and it's like all of a sudden like people are looking at like you like when you fail a class and you're like ah not a big deal like you think you're cool but like people are like no like, <laughs> that's not what you want like yeah like, yeah now, like like i would never tell a kid like oh yeah no just focus on baseball because like baseball an athlete's career is what sometimes not even past 25 yeah maybe not even maybe not past 18 yeah so like and school can go from your whole life you could be in school yeah why would you not focus more on that than you would on like sports yeah like but there's yeah. gotta be a, a balance, and and and, and there's 100% pro ballers that get drafted their junior senior year that still f- take summer classes and still playing minor league ball and still and still playing in the fall and in, in their in their playoffs and still doing school. What my favorite videos are what when um there was like two videos. There's one of a football player I think went to Clemson. Yeah, he just won the national championship. And he showed up to his 8 a.m. class in the front <laughs> row, and the whole place goes nuts for him. That's great. Was, that, that's like setting a perfect example. No doubt. That, and then I think a basketball player did it. I forget what school, but he did it, and the whole crowd cheers for him. Like, oh my gosh, you just showed up to your 8 a.m. class. You were in a different state, up probably up till two o'clock in the morning, and you're showing up to your 8 a.m. Like, what's what is the excuse for someone that's not even playing that's you know what the, i mean that's 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 the one percent yeah that's I mean, great shout out to cj appens for this one but there's just no crowds in the extra mile like that extra mile of studying when you're alone it's so hard there's so many distractions baseball games on or you want to go you want to go play hang out with your with your boys or you want to want to hit the gym or just at least practice baseball it's just you have to make sure that you're dialed into your studies because literally your career depends on it. Yeah. Now, um, I I guess I guess you could say is you know the lessons that you've learned from going from a high school student to a community college student to a four year student, right? You you you've got these lessons now about creating good habits and, and and planning everything out and and we went over how everything in your head is is just doesn't make sense you're gonna forget things like you're right now a, a coach at a saint john vianney right yeah. what i mean you have to take your job pretty seriously you, you're 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 a coach a coach is a leader of a team how how are these lessons that you learned from these these past eight years of your student athlete career how are these lessons implementing to your to your career i mean as a person as a friend you know yeah i'd say what i've learned is just how to be more organized and one thing i've i started doing was planning ahead so instead of waiting last minute for something like maybe a couple days before write it everything out that you want to do like script it out yeah like for a practice script it out so you know when that practice comes, you know everything you want to do instead of just thinking about it on the spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think planning ahead is was another thing that helped me in school. Just like if you have a test, write it on the ske- on your schedule so you know when that is and study until you get there. Yeah. And then you're you're ready. Yeah. If you plan ahead, you'll you're prepared. Yeah. I think uh a quote from a book of um Habits of a Champion, and also, have you seen the, the um, what's that film with Will Smith? He's the Serena Williams' uh, dad, King Richie, King Richard? Richard? King Richard? Yes. And, and you know, I read in this book, I was like, wow, it, it's, it's, it's so true. It's like, um, yeah, you plan, you plan to fail, or is it, you fail to plan, you plan, you plan to fail? Yeah. You, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's, that's, that's it right there, and and I read it. and I was like, oh wow, that's that's really cool. But then when I when I saw that movie and and like you know, the, I think there was four sisters. Everyone knows it too, but there's other another two more, and they're all bundled up in one room, bunk 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 bunk. And then there's a scene where where King Richard is checking on 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 them, and they're all writing down their notebooks their next day of what they're doing, and they're in middle school, 
you know? Yeah. And then look at look at that small little habit, small little quote. I mean, creates these four in, incredible people in, in this world. It's just that small little habit that maybe little Mike Yo or maybe little me could have could have used in fifth, sixth grade. I mean, could have worked wonders, you know? Well, there's another quote that I I've always like I heard like my junior senior year. I actually made it my senior quote. For high school, it was hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. No doubt. And that's literally I was the the guy that didn't work hard. Yeah. In school. Like yeah. it that that can go towards school and go towards life. Yeah. Like it doesn't have to just go towards sports. Yeah. If you don't work hard, then someone's gonna outwork you. Yeah. No, you're and I and I always I always think that there's always somebody better than you. Like I'm not trying to like really beat myself up. But like, great. Like I think even uh, we'll bring Drizzy Drake, Drake into this conversation, where it's like he won some type of award, and he's like he doesn't really celebrate much. And like I, I get it. Go, go out, celebrate for accomplishments. But he's like he's always looking for that next thing. And 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 you know, our careers, we, we went to three different schools. Like we were always looking for that next thing, that four year degree, that that's that that scholarship, and and. You can't be satisfied with like having a good game, or or hitting a PR in the gym. There's always more work to be done after that personal that personal record or, or that or that great game. There's always work to be done because if you're not doing it, heck, someone else is going to be doing it. Yeah. You know, you can't just be a great baseball player. You have to be a great student. You have to be a, a great lifter, a great eater, a great teammate, a great person. You know, and you, you never know who's watching too. Like, and it's like there could be a little kid that you don't even know, but he looks up to you. Yeah, and it's like you got to, you got to set an example for whoever is looking. Yeah, you can't you can't slip up. Yeah, yeah, I definitely um. I mean the the biggest the biggest thing that that someone could just take out of this, whoever's watching, whether it's one million people or one person, is just you know. If you want to play high school varsity baseball, if you want to play, if you want to play baseball in general, if you want to play college baseball, take your grades seriously. And and this is a really great question: is you know, are do you, do you think teachers really want to see you fail? You know? Yeah, no, no shot. <laughs> I mean, I, I I don't. I mean, I feel like, and I what's also maybe what kids don't do is they just don't communicate. They just kind of get like all choked up inside and like damn i'm like they're beating themselves up i can't do this oh I, th- oh this this t- this class i know i did that I, I i i like crushed myself in the classroom my base the baseball field was my escape i could i could let everything out i could swing as hard as i can i could throw it as, as hard as i can like it was just like the baseball field was my, my it was like heaven but the classroom like i was just i was nervous because there was so much pressure there so i think i think for that I'm, you can hop on this or, or disagree or agree but i think like i communicated very well in college with my professors because i think like i kind of opened up more but in high school like in high school i i i struggled too i i had a i had to stay after it for some for some classes that were really hard but i mean teachers don't want to see you fail show up on time don't be a doofus don't don't talk listen to when the teacher's talking be the best student that you you can be and that can and that can lead you to heck a b you know yeah so i mean I, and if you show that you're you're giving the effort and you're you're working hard to like try and do your best and you're still struggling the teacher's not going to fail you like she's like the whoever's your teacher or professor i was taking a, an environmental class at occ and i remember I, it was it was like a really tough class but I, and, uh, I think I, I, I know, I know I passed it. Yeah. Like I thought I was going to fail it, but I showed up every day in the front row taking notes and I was, I, we had pop quizzes and I always studied for them and I worked hard and I'm pretty sure I passed because the professor knew I was coming in every day, sitting in the front row, taking notes, like studying. And there were some exams that I, I, I didn't do well. And I was like, I was mad. And I just go to him and ask him questions and he would give me the answers. But like, I just think he knew I was putting in the effort and he, I ended up passing the class and I was nervous. I wasn't going to. Yeah. 
you, you got you got to care. You can't just throw it over your shoulder if you get a bad grade. Act like a. Like, I, I mean, I think I think well, I might. Another thing, like you kind of like to fail, you have to do nothing. Yeah. Like if you do nothing, then you will fail. Mike Yo, I mean, this is this was fire. You know, I think uh, I think any kid in middle school, high school, heck, even even in the junior college level, can take one thing out of this. Um, you know, we talked about how grades are just so important. We talked about little hacks to be a better, better student athlete. Um, if anybody had any questions for you, is there is there any type of uh, social media where they could reach out for you or, or just ask you any questions? Because I think, you know, connection is, is, is key. You know, and if, if a kid can, can relate to you, they're like, hey, I'm a freshman and I had a terrible first, what is it, not even semester, what do they call it, marking period? I had a terrible marking period. Like, what what can I do? Can, can they reach out to you? Yeah, I mean, what's my Instagram? <laughs> I never know what my Instagram, because I think the username is like M O Halloran one two three or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll maybe put it on put it on the screen in, in the bottom. Um, yeah, it's M O Halloran one two three. M O Halloran one two three. Send him a DM if if you're out there and you're struggling with your grades or you're just nervous about the future. You can you can send a DM to Walk Off Talks. Just to see, you know, the perspective of uh, two student athletes that that transferred to three different colleges, um, got a degree, and and still balled up and played some baseball. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, Mikey. O, thank you. Is do you have any a, anything else to to add on? Um, yeah. Well, if there's anyone listening out there, like, just if you're struggling, stay positive. All right. Is is you know. Never get too down on yourself. Always stay positive, and you can always just – if you, you get knocked down, you can always pick yourself back up. So just no stay, stay locked in. A lot of energy, a lot of focus. A lot of energy, a lot of focus, baby. In the classroom and on the field. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for hopping on. Um, Mike O'Halloran, St. John Vianney coach, and um, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in.